Hi everybody, this is Pramita here and this is the flip through of the standard size traveler's notebook called Rose and if you have not watched the previous videos then please go back and watch them you'll find all, lot, all sorts of details into them first of all I have created four TNs Bloom, Bliss, Flora and this is the Rose so these all four TNs are going to be listed under one single listing. Each will have their name and the flip attached to that in the YouTube flip, you know, in the description box. So if you want, you can just click that or copy paste that link and watch the entire flip through on YouTube channel of mine. Because I thought that's the best way I can give you a full update on how I have created these so uh, that is one thing and I'll post all the links below in the description box so you'll have no hassles just press the uh, link and then you can go to my shop or you can directly go to the link you know the listing and see whatever you find there and another thing I would say is if you have any questions you can message me through Etsy I'm always available secondly is Please go through the descriptions carefully because I don't want any confusion. Um, so that's that. And I have practically written everything that is to, you know, all kind of information that is regarding this journal in the description box. So I would highly recommend that you please read the description box. So this is a standard size TN, but it is... Um, it is a little bit wider I would say it is 4.25 a little bit more than that perhaps um, 4.75 not 25 uh, by 8.25 so and this is the last in the rose garden series so this is called rose obviously so this is a fabric tag that I have created and I've hand embroidered this myself and I've also embroidered the name Rose. And one thing I would like to say is this embroidery is not perfect because that's not what I intended to create. I wanted to create something like a rose garden, weed, uh, rustic kind of garden which has been unkempt for a while. So that is the main idea behind creating a tag like this. And all of the tags are very um, organic kind of look they um, they do not resemble a perfect embroidered piece that's for sure so that is one thing and um, let's begin the flip through so they are tied with organza ribbon this is again an envelope uh, pouch sort of thing that I've created and the journal tag goes in here and then we have the front cover so this is from Stamperia's House of Roses so this is the front and again some envelope here I need to put something I must have skipped that I will put something in um, some rose image here we have a journal tag some office ephemera again some wrap around pocket here we have some tags and some tags, some blank page, some book page, some blank page, some lace page. Each of the journals have one lace page. This is a page from Artsology. She has some beautiful collage sheets. This is a master boot collage card that I had done. Some half page, some pocket here you have double pocket this is another tag made from master bird so we have that and this so I'm not going to try and put this in because I might mess up you know everything becomes uh, difficult when you're filming. No, this one tried to cooperate. That's fine. Thank you guys. Uh, so this is another general tag. This is a side tag. Here I've done some little bit of layering. 
Not all the pockets have layering, but some of them do. This is again a little bit of layering that I've done. Some journal card, some vintage book page. Here I've added that envelope sideways. So you have the journal card inside. This is from the House of Roses. And this says, uh, take time to smell the roses. So, you know, rose is this uh, journal's most appropriate name. And I've done a little bit of collage over here, layering, some tag. This is some pocket that I've created. This is the center of the journal, basically. As I open this, you'll be able to see this. So this is the center. This is from the House of Roses paper kit. This is some journal card. Here again I've created some layering and then added a tag. Here I have a pocket. I have not put anything so you can put anything inside. Then uh, there is this journal card that goes, journal tag that goes in. These are pretty large and large journal tags. Some tuck spot sort of thing. Here again, I've done a little bit of layering, as you can see, some pockets. So these are double pockets. So you have this, and then you have this. These are all master boat collages that I had done, and then I've cut them down to make tags. The other side of the art zoology paper, some lace, some blank page, some book page some blank page again some book page here I have some ephemera that goes in here we have a triple pocket sort of thing so here is one tag and I've done a little bit of layering here is another pocket again I've done a little bit of layering and here is the other one so all sorts of tags and then at the back there is another pocket. This is also from the House of Roses paper pack. Here is a pocket. I have not put anything. I need to put two small ephemera in. And then this is the ephemera pouch that I have created. So basically this paper is from Paper Daisy Journals. And then I have added this image. This is from Shabby Dabby Duda. And this is from My Stash. So I've just jazzed it up a little bit. And these are the ephemera pockets. You have a lot of ephemera inside that you can use in your journal. And over here again, we have some envelope and some journal card. So here is an envelope with some journal paper inside. And... Here is the tag. So these are all from antique papery. So this is the ephemera pack, and they are attached with this these um, you know beaded paper clips, which can be used anywhere later on. So this is rose, and all these are already listed in my shop. So if you want, you can check them. Uh, and also I have a new, another new listing, digital listing, which um, is of fussy cut butterflies and birds. So you can see that also. So this is actually the pile of rose garden that you will see in the listing. And all the details are going to be in the description box below. And while checking out, if you're planning on buying this, kindly mention the name of the journal that you are buying because that would make confusions less and things simpler. That's what we would want because otherwise there's going to be a lot of confusion. So if you are interested, then while checking out, please mention the name of the journal that you intend to purchase. Okay. So thank you everybody. Bye. Have a great day.